The Obscure Cartoons Iceberg Explained. Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be covering The Obscure Cartoons Iceberg. Now, unlike all of my Iceberg videos, this one was not made by someone on Reddit, but instead, it was made by a fan of mine. His name is Vilmos Spizak. I hope I said that correctly. So 100% of the credit goes to him, and shout out to Vilmos Spizak. Also, Vilmos does have a YouTube channel, but it only has two videos on it, and they're both related to the iceberg, so subscribe if you want. Anyway, let's get into the video. Asterix Asterix is a popular French comic book series written by Reen Gioschini, I definitely pronounced that wrong. Anyway, the story is about a small ghoulish warrior who has superhuman strength. The first comic book was published in 1961 and since then has gotten 37 more books. Kablam! Kablam was an old Nickelodeon TV show created by Robert Minthal, Chris Viscardi, and Will McRib. I mean, McRob. It aired on Nick between 1996 and 2000. The show would consist of random shorts that would change animation, and occasionally change into live action as well. Pretty much like Robot Chicken. The show was hosted by the two fictional characters Henry and June. El Tiger El Tiger was an American-Mexican TV show that aired on Nickelodeon between 2007 and 2008. The show follows a Mexican superhero named Manny, who over the course of the TV show learns how to control his superpowers. The show was cancelled due to lack of advertisement and dwindling ratings. Freakazoid Freakazoid was an American TV show that aired on Kids WB between 1995 and 1997. The show was produced by Amblin Television. Friggin' Steven Spielberg was associated with this TV show. Anyway, the show is about a teenager named Dexter Douglas, who gets sucked into a computer and gains superpowers. Throughout the show, he fights supervillains, real and fictional. The show also had numerous guest stars, including the likes of Tim Curry and Mark Hamill. However, despite the show being so popular, it only lasted two seasons before being cancelled. Cloaks Cloaks was a 90s adult comedy movie about a guy named Dante who needs to cover a shift in Jersey. However, this entry is referring to the animated series called Cloaks the Animated Series, which aired on ABC in the year 2000. Dennis the Menace UK Dennis the Menace UK is a UK TV show and comic about a kid named Dennis and his dog Nasha who go around causing trouble. The show aired between 1996 and 1998 spanning two seasons. There is an American version of this comic though it has a couple differences. Kenny the Shark Kenny the Shark is a TV show about a shark named Kenny who dies in every episode. Oh, oh wait, wrong Kenny. The show is actually about a shark named Kenny who likes to hang around humans, and his friend Cat, who is a human. The show ran for three seasons on Discovery Kids between the years of 2003 and 2006. Jackie Chan's Adventures Jackie Chan's Adventures was an animated series about Jackie Chan and his niece Jade, who would go around fighting crime and also try to stop the evil company known as the Dark Hand. The show aired between 2000 and 2005, and at the time Jackie Chan was very popular amongst all age groups, so the show did really well. Earthworm Jim the Animated Series Earthworm Jim was an American TV show about the video game of the same name. The show would focus on Jim finding different aliens. Earthworm Jim himself was actually voiced by Dan Casanoneta, who you might know as the voice of Homer Simpson. The show also guest starred Tim Curry and Mark Hamill. Jesus, what is with Mark Hamill and Tim Curry always guest starring in old cartoons? Anyway, despite the show being popular, it only lasted for two seasons. The Mummy, the Animated Series 
The Mummy the Animated Series was a cartoon based on the popular Mummy franchise. It follows a mummy who manages to harness Egyptian powers. He is also joined by a couple of teenagers who together go around stopping villains over the world. The show ran for two seasons between 2001 and 2003. Several lesser known Nickelodeon cartoons. So there are a lot of unknown or obscure Nickelodeon cartoons and TV shows. So much so that you could probably make your own iceberg video on it. Uh, some of these include Pig Goat Banana Cricket, Chalk Zone, and my personal favorite, Wienerville. Raymond the Animated Series Raymond the Animated Series was a French-American TV series that aired between 1999 and 2000. The show was based on the video game series of the same name. The show is about Raymond, who uses his magical powers to fight the evil Mr. Dark and his minions. He also travels to different worlds with his friends to complete challenges. The Cramp Twins The Cramp Twins was a British cartoon that aired between 2001 and 2006. The show follows the Cramp family, mainly the siblings Wayne and Lucien, who have two very different personalities. Wayne likes to cause chaos while Lucien is the shy and intelligent one of the family. However, the show was cancelled in 2006 due to budgetary constraints. Terma Demonica Terma Demonica is a Brazilian comic book series by... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Anyway, the series follows a group of children going through their day-to-day -day lives. The main girl, Monica, is a tough and tomboyish girl who likes to play pranks on people. Terma de Monica eventually would get turned into a TV series and video game series. Obscure Newgrounds Cartoons So for those of you who don't know, Newgrounds is a website where you can find a lot of Flash games and Flash animations. It was extremely popular in the early to late 2000s, with people going on it to play Flash games and such. But the website has since lost its popularity. Now of course, there is a lot of old and obscure Flash animations that you can find on there. Animal Farm Animal Farm is a novel written by George Orwell in 1945. It would depict animals living on a farm leading up to the Russian Revolution of 1917. It would do this by having pigs overthrow the human owner and become a socialist government. But later, the pigs become corrupt and begin to exploit the other animals. At the time, the novel was a way to mock Russia and Joseph Stalin. El Chavo de Ocho El Chavo de Ocho, which translates to The Boy of Eight, was a Mexican sitcom that aired on TV back in 1971 and 1980. The show was about an orphan boy named El Chavo who lived in a poor neighborhood. He enjoyed going on adventures and getting into trouble with his friends. The show was so popular in Mexico and in other Latin American countries, to the point where it would get its own video game series and even a stage play. Cat City 1986 Cat City was a Hungarian movie released in 1986. It takes place in a fictional world where cats and mice have formed rival gangs. Two cat detectives are hired to solve a set of mysterious kidnappings in the area. They later find out that these kidnappings are related to a plan to create a super race of cats and using those cats to rule the world. Bertha, 1985-1986 to Bertha was a British cartoon that aired in 1985. The show was about a big friendly robot named Bertha who runs a factory. The show was aimed towards children trying to teach them lessons about teamwork and problem solving. Thirty One Minutos. Thirty One Minutos is a Chilean TV show that aired in 2003. It is about two puppets who present the news. The show often satirizes politicians, celebrities, and current events, pretty much like South Park. Yuri the Spaceman. 
Here we the Spaceman was a 2002 3D animated French cartoon that aired on Cartoon Network. Now there is very little information on what this show was about, as for the longest time this TV show was a piece of lost media, but a couple episodes of the show were found and uploaded to YouTube on New Year's Day 2023. Samson and Sally Samson and Sally was a 1984 Danish film about a whale named Samson who sets off to find his true love, Sally, who has been captured by humans. Throughout his journey, Samson comes across multiple obstacles and other fish. The point of this movie was to send a message about pollution and overfishing, which, given the fact that this movie was released 40 years ago, really shows how long this has been a problem. Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids was a British TV show based on a collection of children's stories. Every episode would tell a scary story about a naughty kid who would learn a harsh lesson after doing something bad. The show ran for six seasons between 2000 and 2008. Latin American Exclusive Cartoon Network Shows yeah, there's quite a bit of Cartoon Network shows that you can only watch in Latin America. So, you know, unless you live in, like, El Salvador, Guatemala, or Venezuela, then you ain't gonna see those shows. Mesozoico Zardo Okay, I can't really find much information on this Mesozoico Zardo show, but from the images and Spanish videos that I've seen, it seems to be some sort of Spanish-speaking cartoon about dinosaurs. So, uh, if anyone speaks Spanish and is willing to translate what is said in the few videos, then let me know in the comments below. Paddock. Paddock is a South Korean animated movie about a fish named Paddock who lives in the fish tank of a seafood restaurant. Paddock wishes that one day, he will be set free into the ocean. Lupo the Butcher Lupo the Butcher is a 1987 animated Italian horror movie. Now the movie is actually based on the real life serial killer Leonardo Ciancilli who murdered three women in the 1930s. The film shows us graphic kills and violence. Despite this, the film is still very popular amongst Italians. Huh? Mike Judge Huh? is an animated short created by Mike Judge in 1994. It was part of his series called The Animation Show and features a character named Milton who also appears in his other works such as Beavis and Butthead. In this short, Milton is stuck in traffic and becomes increasingly angry as the other drivers around him annoy him. Escola da Insardade Yeah, this is another one of those Spanish related TV shows that I can't really find much about. Again, from the stuff I've seen, it seems to be some sort of Spanish cartoon about a dinosaur. And also, the title Escola de Insardade is Portuguese for School of Insanity. So maybe it's about some dinosaur who goes to school or whatnot. Uh, again, if any of, you, any of you speak Portuguese or Spanish, just let me know what this might be about. Virgil, French cartoon. Virgil is a 1988 French cartoon about a baby boy named Virgil, who every night would crawl out of his cradle and go on a little adventure. The show would also involve Virgil's love interest, another baby girl, and their pet cat. Billy and Mandy short film Billy and Mandy is a show about two kids who become friends with the Grim Reaper. Now before the show was created, Billy and Mandy started off as a short film for the Cartoon Network show Grim and Evil. The short keeps the same characters and themes in the soon-to-be Billy and Mandy TV show. Ed Gould's cartoons released between 2002 and 2004. Ed Gould was a British animator who made many flash animations in the 2000s. Now this entry is most likely referring to his animation known as Ed's World. It was about Ed and his friends going on adventures and accidentally getting themselves into strange situations. Unfortunately, Ed Gould died of cancer on March 25th, 2012. Rest in peace. 
And that was the Obscure Cartoons Iceberg. Once again, shout out to Vilmos Spizak for making this iceberg for me. Anyway guys, if you want to make an iceberg for me, then you can. Thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of breathing.